Morning surfboard lovers, new board to have a look at today, uh, the boardshop.co.uk surfboard review. It is the uh, Aquila Apa and Slater Designs Flat Earth. What a beast. Um, so it's a board that was designed by Aquila Apa, fine tuned by Slater to give a performance twin with lots of speed, a wide range of use in a decent wave range as well. Recommended for waves from uh, depending on where you look from ankle to overhead, but in reality, it's a waist to overhead board in decent waves. We'll have a little spin around the design features. Um, <coughs> Sci-fi two-ish type nose, a fair bit of volume through the middle. Um, the 510 carries 33.4 litres, so it's not under volumed, it's a generously volumed kind of performance hybrid 20 if you like. Um, Fair bit of nose rocker, a little flip in the nose there to keep it loose and manoeuvrable. Good bit of volume on through the chest, through the middle of the board for paddling and wave catching. And then the nice wing squash kind of tail there. Set up as a, as a, a thruster, but it's gonna be ridden as a, mainly as a twin, or you can put the trailer in to give a little bit more stability and control. <coughs> the concave situation is a single into double, then a V through the tail for all the usual reasons generates lift, which generates speed for both paddling and actually surfing it. And then the V helps with release into your turns. Now, <clears throat> the reality of this board is that it's almost like a high performance short board. Although uh, the various Firewire comments and reviews say that it, it's a mid range hybrid that will work in uh, sort of less than perfect conditions. The reality is it's a performance short board. It's fast, loose, um, <clears throat> and that wing swallow gives you good hold and drive in bigger waves, but the little bump there on the wing helps it release into turns as well, which makes it surf a little bit better in less than perfect conditions. <clears throat> if you're looking for a one board quiver, this isn't it. This is your more performancey top end board to sit above your hybrid, uh, pure hybrid, or above your groveler. It's a performance board. So don't be thinking that it's gonna work in onshore Willacombe when it's waist high, because it's gonna be hard work. But to sit above um, your hybrid type board as a travel board or a better wave board, it's gonna be a lot of fun. I mean, it's gonna be super fast to surf, feel quite drivey, uh, vertical, vertical turns, tight turns, stay in the pocket. Um, for the right kind of waves, for the right kind of surfer, it's a really, really nice, um, really nice option. <coughs> it comes with FCS um, or Futures. FCS wise, the MR's fin set's pretty good. As you can see, quite upright to give you that drive. Uh, in the futures, there is of course the Akita Appa signature fin, uh, which would be for absolutely fine because I think 90% of people are gonna surf it as a 20 to give that extra speed and the looseness and the drive. Um, maybe in, in more marginal conditions, putting the trailer in will just help you deal with a little bit of chop or imperfection in the wave. So, who's going to surf it? Um, someone who's looking for a more top endy board, a travel board, as I said. Um, it fits in with your quiver, but like I said, it's not a daily driver. It's not going to be that board that you take out and, and are able to use in all sorts of conditions because um, the way the nose is pulled in with your rock, the rocker coming through quite a fair way down the board at the front, it needs waves with a bit of push, bit of shape. Um, and some drive and power to really get flying. That said, it's a lovely, lovely feeling, lovely shaped board. The rails are <coughs> pared down a little bit. It's a medium type rail with a bit of performance feel to it. And of course, in the LFT technology uh, from Firewire, that kind of epoxy gives great response, great memory flex, um, and gives you that ability to really push the board hard and know that the uh, performance wise is gonna come back quicker than a kind of a PU board would. The LFT construction, as you've known, it's been around for a while. It's the most PU feeling of all the epoxies that Firewire and Slater do. It's got that sunken stringer, uh, the composite stringer to give you that flex and that response. And it's a, <clears throat> it's a great technology. I've got it in my Evo and it's still my favorite um, construction to surf that board in. So there it is, the Aquila Appa, uh, Slater Designs Flat Earth, a beautiful looking surfboard, which in the right hands and the right waves will be an awful lot of fun. 
available online right now. Um, you can, of course, trade in old boards, buy on 0% finance. All the details are on the site. If you have any questions, get in touch.